Hey y'all, there's a new block in town and it's called Create Clone. And when you use it, your character will create another character that's identical to it, hence cloning. So let's play around with it. So let's grab a character and let's add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, which just means when the project starts. And now let's go all the way down to the blue tab called Control Flow. Open that up and there we are super cool new block called create clone so let's drag it out and see what it does hmm not much huh well that's because Chilana has just created a clone of herself that is in the same position as herself hence we only see one so let's go back to edit and let's get out of this rule and let's add a new rule so now in the when's menu tap on more and Check that out. There's a whole new when that only exists when you've created a clone for your character and it's called characters cloned. So tap on it and let's read it in full. When characters cloned, make the clone do whatever you want in this script. So let's see, what should we make this clone do? Let's have it be somewhere else so we can see both Chalana and her clone. So go to movement and find set position. And right now Chalana is at like 500, 500. So let's make this like X is 300 further to the left, and Y is 200 a little further down. And let's see. Cool. So now you see Chalana's clone. Why don't we make 50 clones? So get out of here and go back to your first rule. And now to make more than one clone, let's go down to Control Flow. We could drag in another one of these, and to make 50, we could drag in 50, or you might know what I'm about to do. You can pull out a repeat block and drag this into there. And then whatever number you put here is the number of times this block will repeat, i.e. the number of times you will create a clone. So let's add 50 and see what happens. Oh, not much different, right? Do you know why? Because we've set all those clones to go to the same coordinate, which is 300 by 200, right? So let's go back there. See, whatever rule you make here applies to every clone. And they're all in the same position, then what are we going to see other than one of them? So let's change this and let's make it random. So you see this random thing? Pull out this random operator and let's just anywhere on the screen. So first bubble is 0 for x, second bubble is 1000. For y, Let's go random again, tap random. Start at the bottom of the screen, which is zero, and then all the way to the top, which is 800. And let's see what happens now. Whoa, that's 50 Chalanas all over the screen. How about if we changed it to 500 clones? So go back to the first rule, change this number to 500. And this is actually the limit. You can't make more than 500 clones. Because honestly, more than 500 clones is a little ridiculous. I mean, if you need more than 500 clones, I guess you can email us, and I'm not sure what we would do. But anyway. Oh my god, endless clones. Attack of the Chilanas. Okay, so let's go back to edit. So you saw that random position is pretty cool. You can play with that and have a lot of cool things. Or let's get these out of here. Pull out the random operators. And let's make x last touched x. So go to values, and then see this gray arrow next to Chalana? Tap on that, and now we're in the iPad's values. And let's pick last touch x, which means where your finger touched the screen. And then same thing for y, how high it touched the screen. Press check. And now let's see what happens. And if I move my finger along the screen, oh my god, that is so cool. Isn't that super cool? Why don't I show you one more cool trick? So we've played with this when, when characters cloned, make a clone. You can also play with other whens. So let's drag this one out. Let's tap on this. And let's find when the iPad is tapped. So iPad is tapped. And let's add two more blocks here. So when the iPad is tapped, all the clones go to the position where you tapped it, right? That's what this block says. Let's add another block that sets every character in a different direction. So go to set angle, drag that out, and pick random between 0 and 
360. Then let's have them all move forward 200. So move forward is based on what direction you're pointing. Let's add 200 here and let's play. So now where you tap somewhere, whoa, there's like a Chelana flower. Isn't that cool? So there's a lot of super cool stuff that you can do interacting with your screen with clones. I'd say one more thing about clone. Just keep in mind that these clones don't exist until that clone block executes them. So every time you go through that loop, the one we have over here, the first time you go through the loop, the first clone is created, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, on and on until you have 500. So you might notice that like the first time I tap, only one clone is there, then 20, then 100, then 300. I don't really know what the speed is, but that's just something to know. So you're never going to be able to move the clones around in the editor because they don't exist yet. They haven't been born. They're only born in the project. Anyway, I hope you had fun. And we're actually so excited to see what kind of stuff you make. We have no idea what kind of projects clone is going to yield. We've already seen some super cool stuff from users in the community, but we really don't know what's possible yet because this is totally new territory for us. I hope you had fun. I'm so excited to see what you guys make. Um, see you later.